While playing dress up may have previously seemed like some kind of midlife crisis, in this day and age, slapping on a costume of your favorite superhero or most beloved video game character can often turn into either a lifelong obsession or a six-figure salary, or some bizarre combination of both. The world of cosplay is filled with some of the more incredible and creative people on Earth who choose to pour their energy and vibrancy for life into paying homage to their heroes, heroines, and villains that they know and love. From rocket raccoons to virtual K-pop groups, here's 15 costumes that take cosplay to the next level. Part 2 Demogorgon Costume Alright, first up, it's time to strap on our Ghostbusters Proton Packs, roll a d20 with our best friends and disappear into a faux wood clad wall covered in Christmas lights because we're heading into the upside down. For fans of the increasingly addicting hit Netflix show Stranger Things, it's easy to notice all manners of pop culture references and science fiction pastiche that populate the show, but it seems that, for one cosplay fanatic, the only way to stand out from the crowd was to dress up as season one's most terrifying creature feature, the Demigorgon, created by Indiana artist Carl Leck. And I've taken costume making pretty seriously, so I've always tried to one-up myself. The Demigorgon costume was painstakingly assembled back in 2016 for a hit Halloween event, but the artistry and ingenuity that Leck poured into this work quickly earned him critical acclaim all across the internet. You see, unlike most Halloween costumes, Leck managed to recreate the costume creature with incredible realism, highlighted by the costume's crowning feature and the creature's most iconic roar, a fully opening flower mouth that it would use to consume its victims. Reportedly, the incredible design took Leck over 35 hours to recreate and was assembled with a genius combination of cardboard, Corilla tape, bike cables, and rubber bands. By installing the cables along the length of his right arm, Carl could open the costume's mouth with a flick of his wrist, terrifying onlookers in the process. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Rocket Raccoon Costume now on the topic of homemade Halloween costumes, while Lex's attempt at the Demigorgon was truly impressive, few kids' costumes can compete with the astounding work of our next entry. Feast your eyes on the handiwork of Christina Borchardt, a mother and cosplay enthusiast from Three Rivers, California, who back in 2015 recreated a devious caricature of Marvel's Rocket Raccoon for her young son Chase. For those of you that aren't aware, the smack-talking raccoon is one-fifth of the ragtag group of heroes Guardians of the Galaxy that was played by Bradley Cooper in the comics 2014 hit flick. After spending weeks on end, Christina's incredible design was so darn convincing that her vital artistry even attracted the attention of the film's director, James Gunn, who showered the Rocket Raccoon costume with praise, claiming that Christina's design could have even given the film's visual effects a run for their money. Now that's some high praise. By using a combination of makeup artistry, as well as creating a perfect mold of her son's physical proportions, Christina spent weeks finding the perfect materials to recreate Rocket Raccoon, and we've gotta say, the results are absolutely mind-blowing. As regular attendees at Comic-Cons across the USA, Christina and her family are no strangers to the world of cosplay, but this astonishing piece remains to be their greatest creation yet. <laughs> Big Giant Swords Nothing says ultra-cool cosplay quite like a big giant sword, right? Well, if that's the case, then we've got to introduce you to potentially one of the most creative and incredible artists currently at work in fantasy weapon recreation, a blacksmith named Irish Mike, also known as Mike Crawwell, and he's also a YouTube persona. This guy is the number one source for recreating some of the most outlandish and mind-blowing weapons in film, TV, and video games. So much so that back in 2015, the Discovery Channel gave him his own TV show, appropriately dubbed Big Giant Swords, where Mike's only goal was to take his artistry to the silver screen and prove that no task was too big for his blacksmithing prowess. Reportedly, he first began making giant swords back in 2003, first as a hobby, but later as a fully-fledged side business where popular cosplayers should seek out his expertise in order to perfectly complement their craft and take their costumes to the next level. 
Amazingly, Irish Mike has successfully managed to perfect his passion for fantasy swords and sorcery and has become the leading name in cosplay blacksmithing. Some of the most incredible works feature the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII and Darius Axe from League of Legends. And yes, to answer your question, they're as sharp as they look. <laughs> Real Life Gundam Robot While cosplay is all about recreating some of the coolest and most impressive characters in science fiction and fantasy, it seems that some certain fandoms have traditionally been built out of reach, even for the most creative of minds. You see, it's one thing dressing up as a humanoid, such as an elf or an orc, or even a hip-hop loving canine, but it's another to try and recreate a fully-sized galaxy-defending robot such as the kind that features in one of the most popular animes of all time, Gundam Wing. Given the fact that Mobile Suit Gundam Wing is populated by gigantic, technologically advanced robot mech suits, few fans have succeeded in paying homage to the Gundam franchise, but that didn't seem to stop one team of Japanese engineers and anime fanatics who back in 2020 launched their full-size Gundam robot to the envy and adoration of cosplayers across the planet. Standing in at 59 feet tall and weighing a staggering 25 tons in total, the huge Gundam robot was originally commissioned by the Gundam factory in Yokohama as part of an art installation, and it reportedly took years of painstaking work in order to achieve. As the creators of this amazing robot are dedicated fans of the show, it was a key requirement for the Gundam mech to be able to fully move as it does in the show. And it's so well made that the Gundam can even take a knee. When it comes to taking cosplay to the next level, this entry is truly out of this world. <laughs> KDA, the virtual K-pop group. All right. Talking of things out of this world, our next entry serves to blur the lines between fandom and reality, and one of the strangest and most unique mashups we've ever seen. Unless you've been living under a rock, most of you will likely know that the video game and esports phenomenon, League of Legends, is pretty much the most successful gaming title of all time, after attracting over 8 million players each day for over a decade. Throughout its time at the top, League of Legends has attracted an unstoppable horde of devoted fans and followers, and its cosplay scene is considered to be one of the more popular in living memory. Well, in an effort to satiate the needs of their ever-growing fan base, Riot Games, the developers behind League of Legends, decided to launch their very own K-pop group, featuring a mashup between some of the game's key female champions alongside some of the most popular stars in music. The result was KDA, the world's first virtual K-pop inspired girl group consisting of four themed versions of the game's iconic characters. In order to bring their fandom to life, Riot commissioned several pop stars to take on their virtual personas, including American singers Madison Beer and Jaira Burns, as well as Myeonni and Seonni, two of the biggest names in South Korean pop music. Astonishingly, the reality-bending cosplay mashup was a global sensation and the KDA girl group was so darn successful that they continued to release chart-topping songs on a yearly basis. <laughs> Yaya Han Speaking of world-class cosplay, although we've seen some pretty staggering talent so far, few can compete with the legendary works of Yaya Han, dubbed by many to be the internet's most famous cosplayer. Beginning her career way back in 1999, she enjoyed a humble beginning as one of the world's first competitive cosplayers, where she assembled costumes inspired by some of her favorite anime characters from cheap cotton and any fabrics that she could get her hands on. Since then, Han's elaborate costumes have come a heck of a long way, and today, her astonishing designs feature state-of-the-art techniques and technologies that would make a Hollywood practical effects designer feel inadequate. In fact, Yaya has become such a household name in the cosplay world that Marvel Studios partnered with her to create official recreations of their famous characters, such as Scarlet Witch, Mystique, and Psylocke. If that's not enough, then Yaya has even launched her own cosplay fabric line in the hope of inspiring a whole new generation of cosplayers to follow in her footstep. The Low-Cost Cosplay King Alright, while Yaya Han may feature some of the more expensive materials and equipment in her cosplay work, our next entry is at the opposite end of that spectrum and yet manages to make some of the more astonishing and creative cosplay designs on a shoestring budget. Joyfully known as the low-cost cosplay king, 
this guy has inadvertently turned his passion for costume and design into a global social media sensation, attracting millions of followers and tens of millions of views for his amazing anime mashups. Meet Low Cost Cosplay, also known as Anucha Sangchart, a 30-year-old from Bangkok, who posts hilarious photos of himself decked out in weird and wonderful outfits created from some of the more unassuming everyday objects found around his home. As the king of the thrifty cosplay, Chai has been making low-cost cosplay ever since the early 2000s, but it wasn't until he launched his official Facebook page in 2013 that he attracted viral attention. Chai has covered pretty much every character going from obscure anime to iconic Disney characters and all the way to Hollywood blockbuster action flicks. It seems that this man's imagination knows no boundary when it comes to cosplay and because of that, he remains at the top of his game. Real Life Iron Man Glove While Marvel's Iron Man has often been the subject of cosplayers hoping to take their craft to the next level, few creative costumes can compare to the sheer mind-blowing ingenuity of this next entry, a real-life laser cutter mounted onto a carbon fiber Iron Man glove. Yeah, seriously. That's an actual laser bursting out of that guy's robotic hand. Created by Patrick Preeb of LaserGadgets.com, this real-life Iron Man glove was launched back in 2015 after its creator received a custom order from a cosplayer hoping to step into a lifestyle of Tony Stark. Amazingly, it was such a success that Patrick quickly became inundated by other cosplayers hoping to take their Iron Man to the next level. And now, there's a year-long waiting list for those trying to get their hands on Iron Man's laser technology. The glove features two high-powered lasers, the first of which is a blue-colored beam that is powerful enough to etch markings into wood and other materials, and the second, a red-colored beam which is still powerful enough to burst balloons. Yeah, it's probably best that you watch where you point that thing. <laughs> the Sword and the Stone Sure, while the previously mentioned Irish Mike Crawwell may be the king of the big giant swords, there's another name in the world of sword and sorcery forgery that is considered the holy grail of cosplay weaponry. Meet Tony Swatton, a professional blacksmith and owner of Sword and Stone, a world-renowned workshop that forges the most incredible swords and armor for all things Hollywood and HBO blockbuster. If you ever wondered who made all the props and costumes for shows like Game of Thrones and other fantasy showstoppers, then yeah, it's most likely these guys. After opening his first blacksmith workshop in North Hollywood at the young age of just 26, Swatton first made a name for himself after making the props for Hook, the famous Peter Pan remake starring Robin Williams, where he later went on to create products for Disney World and Universal Studios. And just like Irish Mike, Swatton also had his own hit TV show after being involved with Mans at Arms, an incredibly popular web series. Amazingly, Sword and Stone have made weapons for Thor, The Hunger Games, Hellboy, The Matrix, and even Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Doomfist It seems that Leagues of Legends isn't the only video game franchise trying to take their cosplayer creations to the next level, and if our next entry is anything to go by, then breathing life into a fictional fighting character is a million-dollar promotional event. In order to promote the launch of their brand new Overwatch character Doomfist, the world-famous Blizzard Entertainment commissioned Hitchman Studios in order to bring their brawling renegade to life, complete with one of the largest mechanical fists that cosplay has ever seen. As part of the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con event, Hitchman Studios went all out by dressing up their incredibly talented cosplay model, Caviar Blue, in some of the more deadly cosplay costuming that we've ever seen. And amazingly, in order to fully kit Doomfist out, Henchman Studios 3D modeled and printed pretty much every inch of the costume to custom order. Astonishingly, the gauntlet alone consisted of over 60 separate components, weighing in at over 15 pounds once everything was assembled. Whew, that's hefty. <laughs> Epic Majora's Mask Combo while cosplay is often seen as a solo occupation, it's also equally impressive when cosplayers come together in their awe-inspiring duo creations. Such is the case with this epic Majora's Mask cosplay combo, created by Twin Cosplay of Mexico, a two-person cosplay team whose creations have earned them world-famous renown for their stunning attention to detail. 
Inspired by the obscure early 2000s Legend of Zelda game Majora's Mask, Twin Cosplay put on a truly dazzling display during their presentation of the World Cosplay Summit back in 2015 by going through a series of stunning costume changes throughout their 5-minute routine, which featured some of the game's most iconic characters including Link and the Skull Kid himself. Well, their efforts earned them the first place prize, and their entry has gone down as one of the greatest cosplay performances of all time. Spider-Man Moving Mask If you thought that the fully functioning Iron Man laser fist was impressive, then the attention to detail in this next incredible entry will certainly draw your attention. When it comes to the most impressive cosplay performances, the age-old saying less is more often rings true. You see, it's more so the smaller details that can easily take a superhero costume to the next level. And the moving mechanical lenses of this incredible Spider-Man mask are an incredible demonstration of that fact. Created by Hong Kong-based cosplayer and costume maker Kevin of Kevin Creations, this Spider-Man costume isn't exactly your run-of-the-mill superhero getup. You see, while Spidey may swing from building to building, slinging webs as he goes, it's often in the more subtle nuances that truly capture his character. Complete with moving mechanical eye lenses, Kevin's Spider-Man costume can pose as surprised, happy or glaring, highlighting the expressive nature of Peter Parker that was captured in the original comics. Amazing! <laughs> Ultimate Thanos if you're looking for the king of all cosplay, then look no further than this Ultimate Thanos cosplay, one of the most convincing costume designs that we've ever seen. They seem to turn a few heads at the 2017 San Diego Comic Con. The truth is, this costume was so accurate that onlookers weren't entirely sure it was an amateur entry or a fully-fledged proportional stunt launched by Marvel Studios. As the titular villain of the Avengers franchise, the Dark Lord Thanos has pretty big boots to fill, but the Mad Titan was no challenge for the creative costume work of Prismatic Cosplay, an amateur group that specializes in armored and larger-than-life characters in the world of fantasy and fiction. As you can see, this truly impressive costume is staggering in sheer size alone, and it took a reported 100 hours of work in order to craft to perfection. Amazing! <laughs> Danquish, the king of armored cosplay. On the topic of armored cosplay, there are few names in fandom that are quite as capable as our next entry. Meet Danquish, a Canadian cosplayer who has earned a name for himself as being the king of armored characters, breathing life to some of the more heavily armored protagonists in video games and movie fiction. Viewed by many to be the world's number one male cosplayer, Danquish, otherwise known as Dan Sarkar, has made a name for himself in the form of the Mortal Kombat franchise and he's earned critical acclaim for his stunning attention to detail. After being in the business for more than a decade, he's entered his cosplay at the most competitive level. And one of his more recent pieces from the Overwatch franchise is certainly one of the more incredible pieces that we've ever seen. Wow! Anako. And finally, for our last incredible entry into this colossal cosplay showdown, we certainly can't ignore the legendary career of Anako, Japan's most successful cosplayer and one of the biggest names in fandom history. If you thought that all of the cosplayers on this list were a big deal, which they are, then you're in for a real surprise because Anako has cultivated such an incredible following that her costume designs and entries now earn her a staggering six-figure salary. At just 27 years of age, Anako began her cosplay career back in 2008, where she was reportedly invited to an event by a friend and had little interest in the world of cosplaying beforehand. As it seems, Anako's career has continued to grow, and as recently as 2020, she's been commissioned to produce photo shoots for some of the more successful anime franchises in history, such as Rent-A-Girlfriend, The Quintessential Quintuplets, and even Yu-Gi-Oh! Astonishingly, in 2020 alone, Anako reportedly earned nearly half a million dollars, making her one of the highest paid models in cosplaying history. Wow! You know what they say, if you do what you love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Well, there we have it, 15 costumes that take cosplay to the next level, part two. What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.